Hi all, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be looking at adding text to shapes and or comments. Now, this can actually get more, uh, quite, a bit quite a bit more complicated than you think it would be. Um, and that's just basically because uh, it doesn't fit within the nice grid that you're used to when you start programming in BBA. Shapes are kind of all over the place. Like a, a comment can be in a cell, but a comment can also be a shape. And so I'm, we're just going to go over the easiest way to kind of add uh, text to a shape. And it really is also a great example of how to record a macro. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to record a macro. There's a couple ways to do this. My favorite is to click on this little guy down here. Um, that'll get you started. That, that's how you can record a macro. The other ways you can do that is if you go to your developer tab, click record there. Uh, and those are kind of the two primary ways to do that. We're going to name our macro. Now your macro can't have a space, so we're going to call this shapes. Shapes and comments. And what we're going to do is we're going to record this macro. And in recording this macro, we're going to add a comment. And then we're going to add a uh, shape or add a kind of a, a box and you get a bunch of code and then we're going to trim that back just to what really what what we're really looking for so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a comment and you'll notice that it added a module in here there wasn't one before I'm going to double click on that and this is recording and this is going to record live as we as we go along I like to do this with um, when I record a macro just so that you can see what it's doing um, it's a great way to learn learn coding. All right, we are going to insert a comment. So the comment is going to be um, adding a comment. Enter. I'm going to do another enter and then I'm going to put LOL. And the only reason I'm doing that is because it, it, when you do this, it actually shows you pretty, pretty cool stuff. So this is what it does to add a comment. You're going to add a comment. You're going to make that comment visible or meaning that it's going to hide unless it's highlighted. And then here's your text. It puts in and character 10, and character 10 is basically like putting in enter, which is kind of cool. So we've added a comment, so this is how you add text. Now what we're going to do, come back here, we are going to insert an illustration, a shape. We're just going to do a standard text box, and then we're going to right click we're going to edit text and we're going to go um, here is some text I'm going to hit enter put an lol just for fun and I'm going to get off of that and it's going to create a boatload of code here so now what we're going to do is we're going to stop recording and we're just going to basically trim all this back now the first thing to keep in mind is you have to make sure that a comment is added before you can actually add text to it or you're going to get some I think you get an object I think you get a uh, 1004 object error um, but really what we're looking at here is we don't um, in order to basically rewrite this code all we really need is this and that we don't need to select anything. We don't need to scroll. We do need to add a shape. Now this is interesting because when you add a shape, it adds it with its reference points. So like how many pixels it is, or where it stands. Um, and then it's going to go in and it changes that it changes that code right here. And we actually don't even need any of this any of this stuff. So this is all just additional code that because it's recording it has to record literal and so you did actually put in you know uh, four color tint shade of zero and a brightness of zero but those are basically nothing but in order for it to record it has to include those pieces so you're going to get rid of that and this is how it would be done so uh, this would that code cuts down or breaks down to these these pieces so we're going to delete this information and then we're going to add it and just see if it works delete that comment we're going to cut that and we won't exist and we're just going to go F8 all the way through this so we're going to add a comment we're going to add the text and you'll notice it's going to basically just passes in a string 
Let's highlight over it, see if it... Come on. We're going to edit comment. And there it is. We got the comments hanging out there. Now let's add this shape. Notice the shape gets added, the text get added, and it's just the default. So that's that's how that's the easiest way to figure out how to um, basically add text to a shape is to record it and then break it down. Um, finally, just a couple things on the comment you can do comment dot text and add your text. On a text frame, it's a little different. You have text frame two, which is a little interesting. Um, you've got text range. And then you're always, for almost all shapes, you're going to do characters.text. And that's how you're going to add in that text. And the reason is, is because that shape object has a color, it has a size, it has a tint, it has all of that, that recorded uh, stuff that we put in there. It has all those pieces. And so you do have to get down to that text frame. And that text frame, you got to get into the characters of that text frame because you're, um, you got to get into the characters of the text frame in order to put text into it. So that's how you would do um, adding text to a shape or adding text to a comment. Um, again, you have to make sure that those are added. Uh, you have to add them before you put in. Um, you have to add them before you put uh, text in, or you're going to get an error. Let me just show you that real quick. It's easy for me to say, but let's let's actually just do it. So. This one will be fine um, because it already exists. That one is fine because it's already selected. But if we get rid of these, so I'm just going to delete these. We're going to delete. We're going to shift left. And then we're going to run this macro again. Oh, you get an object. You get a, a runtime 91. So for that one, and then this one actually may be different. Uh, you get a, a 483. So those are, those are just a couple errors that you're going to get if you don't actually create those. So you do have to create them and then add the text to it. So keep that in mind. Um, anyway, quick video on adding text to shapes or comments. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe to the Everyday VBA channel. Make sure that you, if you like this video, put a like on there. If you have a comment, please leave it. Hope you enjoyed.